All right, guys, and ready here. I've been meaning to do this video for a while, and this video is um, my top ten favorite um, horror films of two thousands. Now, my list is a bit different than most people's lists in that I go from two thousand one to two thousand ten, and the reason for that is I feel that um, the decades end on the tenth year, and not the ninth. Like, if you were to ask a child to count to ten, they wouldn't start at zero, they would start at one. So, um, for me, the 90s actually ended in 2000, and uh, this last decade ended in 2010. So, um, I'm going to get right into it, uh, my top ten. Alright, so, we go over here a little bit. Alright, as you can see here, at number ten, we have The Collector. This one really surprised me. Um, originally, I was, I wrote it off as being like a... Um, a clone of Saw, but uh, I ended up enjoying this one much more so than than Saw. I'm looking forward to the the sequel. I haven't I didn't catch it in the theater. I don't go to the movies that much anymore. All right, so at number ten we have the Collector. And then number nine we have From Within, and you can see here it's part of the uh, After Dark Horror Fest. Um, I really really was surprised by this one. I really like this one a lot. It's probably at the top of my list for these uh, films in the series. Like, I'm debating between this one and Seconds Apart is my all-time favorite. But uh, Seconds Apart was uh, more recent than this, so this one made it into the, my top ten list. All right. All right. Number eight, we have uh, Trick or Treat. Probably my uh, one of the most modern Halloween-themed films. This is my favorite. And also, my favorite anthology uh, horror movie. This really should have played in the theaters. I'm tired of talking about that, but uh, I like this one a lot. So, uh, this is, uh, number eight is uh, Trick or Treat. Number seven, we have Bedeviled. I think this is a Korean movie. I really love this one a lot. It's, it's a great uh, slasher film. This one has a lot more pathos than you'd normally see in a horror movie. And it makes it all the more heartbreaking. Like the relationship between the two friends in this movie. But uh, this one's very brutal and it's the kind of film that you'll probably only want to watch once. Alright, so this is number seven, Bedeviled. Alright, here we have number six. And this is my uh, favorite Australian horror movie, The Loved Ones. I know a lot of people in, uh, in North America just... Uh, uh, watched this film uh, this past year, but this film really came out originally in Australia back in 2009, and it's a real shame that we didn't get this movie um, a lot sooner over here. Um, I originally watched it online because I got frustrated waiting to see it, so I'm going to go with the 2009 release date, and uh, this one's a lot of fun, and um, I'm just really happy to have it in my collection. Alright, so number six we have The Loved Ones. Number five we have Wreck. Um, this is my uh, all time favorite um, found footage horror movie. Um, they don't get much better than this. And they don't pull the Blair Witch bullshit where they turn the camera the other way and scream, What the fuck was that? Um, I just wish, though, they would have went with a different explanation for, their, um, for the, uh, the zombies in this movie. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so number five is Wreck. Number four, we have Let the Right One In. I really love this movie. I love the remake too, but I, I love this one a little bit better. This one here is a lenticular cover. Um, I do need to buy this one again, though, because this release has uh, improper subtitles. Like, they're, they're decent, they're just not the original theatrical subtitles. There is a newer release that actually has... The corrected subtitles. This is probably my favorite vampire movie of the last decade. Number four, we have The Children, and this is my all time favorite uh, killer children movie. Um, I've talked about this one before, I reviewed it as well. But um, this is the one where some weird kind of virus turns all the children homicidal. Uh, there's a lot of fun with this one. This one takes place around Christmas time. So that makes the tragedy all the more so tragic, I guess. Alright, so at number three we have the children. 
At number two, we have The Descent. I really love this movie. Um, in fact, with these last couple of films, I could go either way. Like, I can do another video and everything could be switched around. Um, I really love this film. I love the idea that the cast is pretty much all female, which was nice. And, and the fact that they're not, um, that they're strong women that, that fight back. Um, I know originally when it was released in the U.S., they cut the ending. And then they made a sequel, which wasn't as good, but I still love the first movie. This is my favorite edition of this. This is the um, two-disc UK edition. And number one, we have The Mist. This is my favorite Stephen King adaptation, one of the more recent ones anyways. I really like this one a lot. I like the theme, too, of um, where the heroes keep making bad decisions and making things worse. Um, this is a great film. This is probably more of a monster movie than a horror movie, but... Um, it does have a really bleak ending, so be prepared for that if you do, if you haven't seen it yet. Alright guys, that's my top 10 uh, horror films of the 2000s, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later.